Hi everyone! Today I'll be sharing about my IEM sponsored by Music Sanctuary and also sharing some of my own recent updates. I received a Fearless Start uh, custom fit IEMs from Music Sanctuary earlier this year. Just a quick intro, uh, IEM stands for In-Ear Monitors. IEMs are really useful for musicians, especially in live performances, as they block out our sight noise and they can protect our hearing. They allow us to hear only what we need to hear with more clarity. I often use my IEMs for recording my tracks as well. Music Sanctuary has a wide range of IEMs. Mine is the Fearless Start. They even let me put my custom art on it. I was super excited when I received the real thing with the logo and the duck on it. It's also custom fit to the shape of my ears. They took a silicone mold of my ears and they used 3D printing technology to make the IEMs. So if you're considering getting a pair of IEMs, you can check out Music Sanctuary's website. I'll leave a link in the description below. They have both custom fit and universal fit. They accept international orders as well. And if you are a local musician from Singapore, maybe you can head down to their shop after the circuit breaker is over. In other news, I've been signed to Decibel Entertainment under Decibel Group Singapore since December last year. They are the same people who run Decibel Studios in Ming Arcade, so local musicians might have heard of the Jam Studio as well. My manager has been finding collabs and gigs and features for me. I got to play at Garden Beats, got a feature in Bandwagon. There are supposed to be more events coming up, like my singles launch, but they had to be postponed, of course, due to the coronavirus situation. I just really hope that things get better soon for everyone. Do let me know how the situation in your country as well and how you are doing. Currently, we are kind of under lockdown until June. And so hopefully by then the situation will get better and things can resume. Oh, and if you've been watching my videos, you might have realized that I bought an electric violin this year. So this is actually my first electric violin. I've always been playing only on the acoustic violin, even all my metal covers on my YouTube channel before buying this violin, they are all on the acoustic violin as well. So I painted the violin case myself as well, using fabric marker. And for those who haven't seen it, electric violin, I think it's pretty cool. Two set violin would probably call it a sacrilegious <laughs> violin. It's kind of funny how like I've been playing metal for years but I never got an electric violin until now. Of course, I mean, everyone thinks that, I mean, first of all, nobody imagines people playing metal on the violin and then even when they do, you expect it to be like electric violin with effects and stuff. And yeah, so I finally got my electric violin. But I think like part, part of what I enjoyed over the past years was showing people that you, you don't need uh, electric or uh, fancy effects stuff to play metal. You can do it on your acoustic violin as well, so anyone can try that. Another thing I want to introduce is this uh, headway pickup that I discovered recently. So most pickups require you to, to like, I don't know, clip it to the bridge or modify the bridge, stuff like that. But this one's pretty special, it's just a band which you wrap around the violin and you can remove it really easily. It's literally just a band wrapped around with velcro. The only downside is that the, the velcro comes out uh, pretty easily, like like the, the thing that is binding it together. But I think that's, that's a small problem, like as long as you can find a way to to fix the velcro back or like no, just, just use something and tie a few loops around it yourself, then it should be good to go. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's really easy to use. So when we play acoustic violin, uh, we can amplify it with a mic on the stage, but beyond a certain point, it, it can't get any louder. So especially when I started playing rock and metal with a band like jamming, then I, I realized that like it can't be heard at all over the, the other sounds. So that was when I discovered this pickup. So for those who are interested, maybe you'd like to check it out as well. Uh, this one's not sponsored by the way. Yeah, I, I just found it and bought it myself.
thanks guys for watching my video i hope all of you are safe and doing well as well especially with this uh, whole coronavirus situation do let me know how you are doing and thanks so much for supporting my music i've i've been running this channel for many years and and now it kind of feels really nostalgic and recently I've, I've been more active in my music instagram and stuff and some people message me to tell me that like they've been following my channel for years and, and i look back and, and like i even remember these people in their comments or what so it's just amazing that um so many people have stuck with me for so many years so i'm really grateful thanks so much i'll continue to work hard and i hope you continue to support my music stay safe Thank <laughs> you.